I'm back. I got a lot of really good positive feedback about my last video review. So from now on, I think I'm going to be doing my contemporary adult fiction on my YouTube channel. So go subscribe to me. Yay, it's official. Yeah, I'm really lame. Sorry about that. So anyway, <laughs> I'm just going to kind of dive into it today. So I read this book called Friendship by Emily Gold. And it was published in 2014, so it's been on my to-read list since 2014. I have a lot of books to read. So, basically, 2014 was a really big year for me. I got to be a part of my sister's wedding, and also about two weeks after that, one of my sister and I's really, really good friends passed away in a motorcycle accident. And so when I when I kind of saw this book, I thought it was some form of like destiny, fate, the universe aligned, and it was kind of like, look, here is this book about friendship, and one of your good friends just died, and maybe I would get some form of closure, some perspective, some way to cope with uh, her death. And unfortunately, that didn't happen in this book, and I'm left a little disappointed, but... I think that if I would have read it in 2014, maybe I would have felt a little different about it. But yeah, now that I've read it in 2016, yeah, it didn't it didn't do much for me. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of background. Not much though. There wasn't much there. So basically, this follows two girls, Bev and Amy. They're 30 years old, living in New York, and one night Bev goes on a date, has a one night stand, and ends up pregnant. So Throughout this whole book, it kind of follows Bev's pregnancy, and Amy and her are trying to, like, figure out where the relationship stands and kind of how their friendship is working and growing or falling apart, and then enters this thin plot line that is Jason and Sally. So Bev actually ends up house-sitting for Jason and Sally, and invites Amy to come with her. And Amy, Amy's never even met this woman. And when she learns that Bev is pregnant, she's like, I have all this fantastic insight. There's this hole in Sally's life, which is in baby form. So we need to make Sally adopt your child, and then everything will be rainbows and gumdrops. No, that's not how any of this works. Not how life works. Not how anything works. Period, Amy. You're terrible. So, <laughs> yeah. So, it, yeah, like, it follows just that, that whole thing where Bev is pregnant and Amy's life is kind of falling apart and blowing up in her face. And um, it leads to eventually them kind of drifting apart and then kind of coming back together at the end a little bit and just them trying to find themselves apart. Um, and then coming back together to be friends again. I didn't like this book, guys. Like, straight up, I did it. I thought it was kind of cheesy. I thought it was pretty lame. The plot just wasn't, I wasn't feeling it. I don't feel like there was a lot of depth to it. I don't feel like friendship was a good title for this book. I think Coping With Your 30s is a better title for the book. I... I mean, I didn't have a problem with Bev. Bev was cool because, you know, she took it. She took responsibility for her actions. She is now doing what's right for her child and herself. Like, she's getting her life on track. She's understanding what's happening. And, you know, she she's doing what she needs to do to survive and have a, you know, have a life. Whereas Amy is over here going, like, acting like she's 16 years old, thinking that the whole world revolves around her, that everything that's happened to her is not her fault, and I think that's the reason why I really just didn't like this book, is because I really hated the character of Amy. Uh, she is someone that does not take responsibility for her actions. She had a really good job. She had a great apartment. She had a really nice boyfriend, and she alone blew up her life. It was nobody else's fault but her own. And she just didn't see that. She was so blind to her actions and, like, the consequences of her actions that I couldn't... I wanted to choke her because, 
like she's 30 years old she needs to be an adult she needs to act like not an idiot and the whole time even like when Bev was pregnant and she was freaking out because she had no idea what to do she kept making these like half assed schemes and they all ended up blowing up in her face and I think part of it is that like I know people like this and they make excuses for themselves and they just don't realize that the common denominator in their life is them and they end up like hopeless and they just aren't brave they're not courageous they don't do anything to prove to me that I that they're of worth and Amy just she is just like that and even throughout the book I didn't really see a lot of good growth I don't see a lot of good development I still think that straight up she is so selfish even towards the end and I just ah I, I don't affiliate with people like that, <laughs> like just straight up. So I think that just like my personal bias of characters and selfish, selfish people like that in like my life um, was a really big reason why I just, ah, I didn't like this book. Like, no. So this book does not get my seal of approval. I will never read this book again. But um, if somebody has read it and actually really liked it, and for some for some reason or if you know you still want to read it if it's been on your to read list um comment me email me look me up on facebook do something and just like tell me why you liked it so much um i'm super open to understanding different perspectives and i'm never i'm never ever convinced that my opinion is the only opinion out there and i just want to know like why you liked it so much um Maybe it was just I was like in a really bad mood. Who knows? So read this book. Don't read this book. Read another book. It just matters that you're reading and that you're enjoying every minute of it. So happy reading and until next time.